And here's another way in which we can use the partial pressure concept or Dalton's law to calculate things about gases. So in case that we're given gases by mass, so a certain mixture and we're given a certain amount of grams of each gas, what will then be the volume of this mixture, assuming that the total pressure is 2.5 atmospheres at a temperature of 20 degrees centigrade? So again, we start off with the concept that the partial pressure added together of each component of the gas will add up to the total pressure. And then we also know that this equation can be written as total pressure is equal to the sum of all their individual numbers or moles of each gas multiplied times, um, let's see, R t over v. This of course comes from the equation pv equals nrt. So we put the v over there, we get rt over v, and we simply add up the number of moles of each gas, just like we would have added up the total the pressures, the partial pressures of each gas, which of course is also proportional to the amount of volume each gas would occupy if it was by itself under that pressure and that temperature. But here we can see that we can now take this equation put the V over there, put the P over here, and write that the volume of this gas would be equal to N1 plus N2 plus N3 times RT over the total pressure. And so all we have to do is plug in the temperature, the pressure, and find the number of moles we have of each gas. So since we're given the mass of each gas, we can then use that to calculate the number of moles of each gas. So here we can say that N1, or N of helium, is equal to the mass of the gas divided by the molar mass, the mass per mole. So in the case of helium, that is equal to, um, we have 10 grams, 10.0 grams, and the molar mass is 4.0 um, grams per mole. So that would be equal to 2.5 moles of the gas. So that was straightforward, doing that for neon. The number of moles of uh, neon, and uh, let's see, and of neon is equal to the mass divided by the molar mass. So for that's 20 grams divided by the molar mass of neon, 20.2 uh, grams per mole. So that's roughly, we can say, 1.0 moles. Close enough. And then the number of moles of argon is equal to the mass divided by the molar mass which is 30 grams of argon, and again, for argon, I have to look it up, 39.95 grams per mole, and that looks like it's about 3 quarters or 0 0.75 moles. So, now we have the number of moles of each of the three gases making up our mixture, so now we can plug that into our equation here, so the volume is equal to the sum of all the moles, so it'll be 2.5 plus 1.0 plus 0 0.75 moles, and I multiply it times the gas constant, which is 8.314, that would be joules per mole times Kelvin, times the temperature, let's see, they told us 20 degrees centigrade, add 273 to that, that would be 293 Kelvin, divided by the total pressure, and they told us it was 2.5 atmospheres, so it's 2.5 times 101,325 pascals. Of course, we could have used the different constant. We could have said, um, let's do it here. So this would be equal to 2.5 plus 1.0 plus 0 0.75 multiplied times 0 0.08206. And of course, that would be liters times atmospheres divided by that would be moles times Kelvin, and multiply it times 293 Kelvin, 293 Kelvin, and divide the whole thing by, uh, let's see here, 2.5 atmospheres. So we could just leave it as atmospheres. And of course, if we calculate it the way we did here in the blue ink, in the, uh, the blue ink, our volume would, would come out in liters. And if we do it like this, with standard units, our volume will come out in cubic meters. I tend to lean towards doing it like this, but you can see you could do it either way. Of course, we have to, don't forget to put moles like that. All right, so using this equation right here, we have 3.5 plus 0.75, that's 4.25 moles of the gas times 8.314 times 293 
divide by 2.5 and divide by 101,325 and we get volume is equal to 0 0.0409 cubic meters. Of course, if we had done it like this, this would have been multiply times 1,000 would be 40.9 liters. So either way, you'll get the volume either in cubic meters or in liters. And uh, again, the principle is that we can add the, the partial pressures to get the total pressure and the partial pressures are related to the number of moles of each gas. And of course, we find the number of moles of each gas, multiply times RT over P, because in this case, we reverse the P and the V, and that gives us the volume of this mixture. And that's how you apply the concept of partial pressures.